Hello and welcome to Gigit Play Studio Tutorials. Let's look on this tutorial for inside the atmosphere options. We have the wind. So we'll go look on a wind and a breeze options. Okay, those are two options that are mostly used for animations. If you do using single image or up, I actually recommend to turn them off. So it will reduce some additional render time, which is actually helpful. So we'll go ahead, create the terrain. Let's open and add ecosystem. And we'll go ahead and open um, plant trees and we'll add a cherry tree. Okay, let's go reduce slightly scaling and increase density. Okay, we'll take our camera, move far a little bit away. So right here we have it, our trees. And as normal, if you notice in our world environment, we have um, options for the breeze, which is just slightly moving, kind of like gaussing over the plants. And also we have the wind, which is harder affect our plants. If we go inside the atmosphere editor, right at this point, right here, we have our options for enable wind, okay, and apply per plan basis. And also we have our options to enable breeze. If you notice right here, they have a preview for the breeze so we can see how much intensity we can apply it. An example, we can go ahead, animate it to reduce our intensity, um, increase pulsation, and maybe pop up uniformity up, as well as reduce turbulence. So we can affect quite a bit on our plant in a way it's applying. Okay, as well as gusts on the gusts inside the wind, and maybe just to reduce. All those options okay and for all you can kind of give it an um, effect how it will work but the only couple problems I find out it's not um, reflect totally how the your ecosystem will apply to this so you kind of need to render to see how correct the wind will apply to your um, effect the couple problems only with ecosystem and with the wind, you notice right here we have it all these teeny tiny leaves. And if you remember, when we go inside the tree, we can modify how those leaves respond. Problem is, it's not truly collect, uh, collision detection at all. So it's meaning all those leaves, they will intersect each other to creating surfaces. This is one of the problem was creating when you have a flickering effect on your animation. So as an example, if we go ahead and render our animation, so let's go create very fast and let's take a little bit time. So I'm going to select my camera, add keyframe, and we'll go render maybe about two seconds. Okay. And I'm going to render a wrist on broadcast quality. It will apply some motion effect, but also quality enough for me to see uh, what I was saying about flickering, we'll set a little bit higher quality. Okay, maybe um, I'll leave 15 frames, continue. Maybe even smaller, so we have faster render time. And let's render. It will take a little time till it's all finished rendering, and we'll come back to the store when render it's finished. Okay, so after a short time, we have to finish our animations. Let's look right here. Again, this is pretty quality and it's small one, so broadcast. But you can notice right here we have it like example some small flickering occur right in this areas right here and this is will be more visible if you have it a better quality and higher resolution then again the problem is it's when the leaves start intersecting and have it all those options um i apply a very small wind or and gust to these options with higher this effect will increasing um the nice news about the v9 when the release, this is uh, actually in V8 I'm using for this tutorial, and V9 um, engine, which is uh, using to render um, the wind and other words, so rebreeding, so it's a re flickering, it's significantly reduced, so it's much better on the render. Um, and if you working with animations with ecosystem, I highly recommend you to upgrade to V9 just only for that reason, it will make much better. 
But again, overall, this is ecosystem and it's how they affect your wind options. Again, this is going from your tab and you can animate um, amount of the effect of the breeze if you enable it or wind you want to do. Um, also, you notice right here is have the enable wind per plane basis. So you can modify the direction of the wind and in a way it's going to and one thing so we create a tree you can notice right here we have it actually a direction for the wind we can modify it and we can also modify in which direction is going and that way it will work per plane and it's again it's a global uh, wind direction okay thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeker Play Studio please remember Vistas on our web is www.geekerplay.com